All right, so today uh, I'm going to demo some things I bought from Amazon recently, and it's basically the, the cheapest I could find. Well, the inverter, this Halo inverter, I'll leave a link or a link down in the description for you. Uh, at the time, it was the cheapest inverter, the cheapest 1500 watt inverter I could find, and that's why I bought it because it was a cheap inverter. Um, you know, Amazon prices, they vary, so it, just because it was the cheapest the day I bought it, you might be able to find something even cheaper. But anyways, this is not a pure sine wave. This is a modified sine wave, and I'm going to test this with this. Um, the cheapest, smallest refrigerator I could buy. Uh, uh, the cheapest, smallest microwave I could buy. Uh, there, there were some cheaper microwaves, but they weren't smaller. So of the 0.5 size, uh, cubic centimeter size, this, this is the cheapest. And not only is it the cheapest, I also bought the Amazon warehouse one. So it was a used open box. So it was even a little bit cheaper than that. Um, so uh, I hear something rattling. That's not good. But anyways, we'll give it a shot. In addition, I got this. This was the cheapest 100 milliamp uh, LiPo battery, lithium ion, iron phosphorus battery I could find. Uh, I think this, when I bought it, was I think $400 or something like that. Like I said, you know, it might be $420, it might be $3. 380 when when you see it uh, anyways but I'm gonna try it and we're gonna test out all this cheapest devices I could find and uh, I, I did um, I hear a lot of warnings about oh gosh you got to use pure sine wave uh, you know it may not be as efficient or whatever you know and then other people are like whatever the modified will work fine so we're gonna try it we're gonna try the modified and uh, test out this microwave Amazon warehouse items it's it's always a crapshoot what you get and uh, I've had mixed results with them sometimes I had good results and sometimes I was just sent junk so let, let's hope this is not one of those junk times or else uh, this video is going to be very short all right let's take a look plug seems all right yeah everything seems all right visually it looks okay I guess the, the thing rattling was just this uh, this spinny thing so it looks all right for an open box item you know there's still some tape holding things down so I'm going to plug it in and then give it a test all right, so this is the, the commercial chef point, um, point 0.6 cubic feet uh, microwave. It's 600 watts. There was one, I think that was a 0.7 um, that takes 700 watts. So, but I wanted to make sure I got the lowest power, not just lowest size, but lowest power was the main thing because I, I don't want it to suck my battery dry. But I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for it for you. Uh, just like the battery and the inverter and then we're gonna try it so uh, we'll see how it goes all right so I got the inverter plugged uh, plugged into the battery uh, well it powers on so that's a good thing plug in this sucker all right and now uh, let's see if we could uh, get this thing to boil me some water all right so I got about 12 ounces of water and we'll see how well it boils 12 ounces of water let's put it in for let's see power has low defrost medium low medium medium high and high actually I think that's really good because um, uh, if you don't have a big battery you, you might need to adjust that because maybe if I put it on high it might blow this back blow the fuse let's see Well, it's not tripping so that's a good thing and I put it on for two minutes I assume the two is two minutes and uh, let's see if this water boils in two minutes all right two minutes later we'll give it a shot let's see if this is hot <laughs> if you could feel it uh, you would know it's not hot at all <laughs> let's uh, 
let's test it two minutes um, plugged into the wall to see if that gives us any difference. All right, so I got an extension cord. I'm gonna plug it into my wall and then give it two minutes to see if that uh, gives us any better results. Let's see if the water is any different. Now, plugging into the wall is no different. So, um, either, either uh, this is a bad microwave, because like I said, it, it is an open box item. It might have been returned because it didn't work for the first consumer too, or it just needs more minutes. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it back into here, because I don't think, I think I concluded that plugging into the wall doesn't really make a difference. We'll turn that back on and then we'll see if I turn this on to, let's say, um, seven. All right, so that's uh, seven minutes, but let's see if it's hot. It is not hot at all. So, Either one, uh, this is a defective unit, or two, maybe this doesn't have enough current for it, but so let me plug it back into the wall for seven minutes and see if uh, I could get this water to warm up. All right, so uh, Not, oh, not only did um, this water not heat up, it's still cool. Uh, I noticed that this, this timer knob got stuck and it was stuck and it wouldn't move. So I think it's safe to say this Amazon warehouse buy is a dud. Uh, someone returned it because it was bad and I got the bad luck of buying it. I'm going to send it back. And I'm going to order a brand new one that's not from the Amazon warehouse. And I'll continue this video uh, in a week or so when I get that in. All right, so I'm back in my garage again and I got a new unit. Let me show it to you. So I got a new unit. This is a brand new unit this time. This is not an Amazon warehouse deal. Um, it's black yeah, because the black was like two or three dollars cheaper than the white. And I gotta keep consistent with my cheapest I could find, but this time cheap is new because the used one didn't work. So this time what I'm gonna do is plug it in first and see, see make sure it works and see how much it heats a uh, 12 ounce cup of water. And then um, I'm gonna be, try to be a little bit more scientific uh, than my other demos. I'm going to uh, take the temperature of the water and then, and this is just tap water I'm heating up and then try to do it again using my inverter and battery setup. Packaging looks much better because it's new. It's not somebody repackaging it. All right, took it out of the packaging. Put in this thing, this spoon carousel thing. Uh, if, if this does work out, I probably won't travel with this glass clanging around inside the microwave. I'll travel with this glass safely stored somewhere else and then put it in as needed. All right, so I got uh, the 12 ounces of water and I have this meat thermometer right here that says it's 77. I'll measure what it reads for the water right now. We're gonna, we're gonna use that as the data point starting off at 75. I'm gonna put it in here for Let's say four minutes. Ah, I don't want to wait that long. Let's go with two minutes and then we'll see how much it warms up. Put it on high. Two minutes on the dial. See you back in two. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, this microwave actually definitely works. Not like that first Amazon return that I had that did not work. Let's see what it, it reads. Okay, so two minutes and show it to you what it's saying. 109, 
115. Let's wait till that stabilizes a little bit before I do the next test case. 126, 127, 129. So unlike, unlike the used open box Amazon warehouse item, this one actually works. All right, it's pretty stable at 135. Of course, it goes down a little bit when I take it out of the water, but you get the picture. So I'm going to dump this water, cool off the container, put in more tap water, and then we'll measure it and try it with, with it plugged into my battery. All right, so I'm back with another 12 ounces of water, and this time um, the microwave is hooked up to the, my cheapest inverter and my cheapest battery. And let's normalize this. So I couldn't cool down the, the cup completely. Um, you know, I rinsed it with, with cold water, but I didn't want to wait forever. Um, so this one normalizes at 79. And then we'll heat this up. Two minutes. Right off the bat, I, I could hear that it is louder running through my inverter. I, I hear that is a normal thing when you use a modulated sine wave as opposed to a pure sine wave that your AC equipment is louder. So it's definitely the case for me. This is definitely louder and I don't know if you could hear it, but I definitely can. But we'll come back in two minutes. All right, let's give it a shot. No, it's not warm at all. 79 still. That's not good. Um, so that tells me uh, that since since the the uh, inverter didn't clip, uh, it tells me that I. I may need to buy a pure sine wave inverter, and uh, if that's the case, uh, we'll have to continue this review again. After I, I already replaced the microwave, now maybe I'll have to replace the inverter and get a pure sine wave to see how that goes. So I'll be back in a week or so when the pure sine wave comes in. But before I come back, let me tell you one thing. Uh, don't put your inverter on top of your battery like I did right here. Um, the reason is the, the chassis is grounded. Uh, you don't want to touch that positive prong to the, to the chassis of the inverter. You're going to get sparks. Uh, I felt nervous about doing it like this as it is. You can see I, I moved it over to the, to the ground side. So if I did touch, it wouldn't be bad. But uh, I, I did want you to see that I was using the inverter. And that's why I, I did something that I normally would not do. So please don't do it yourself. Keep it away from those prongs. This chassis is grounded. All right, just came in on Amazon, from Amazon today. The cheapest 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter I could find. Let's see if this makes a difference. It'd be a bit of a waste of money for me if, if this doesn't work either. But we'll give it a shot. Well, this is sold as new, but I'm starting to wonder if it is new since there's some packaging tape over this, but... We'll give it a no, shot. I'm fairly certain it's not new. I mean, look at the packaging. It's pretty dinged up. But we'll, we'll plug it in to see how it works. All right, uh, powered up fine, 14.3 volts. Let's uh, plug it in and see how it works with the microwave. All right, so I got everything plugged in and I got my 12 ounce water again. Uh, my handy dandy meat thermometer. Okay, let's normalize it. All right, the water's pretty stable at 77. So that'll be our reference point. We'll put it in for two minutes and already using the pure sine wave, uh, I, I could tell it's much quieter than when I used the modified sine wave. The modified was very loud, and this actually so sounds normal. It sounds like it does when it's plugged into a wall. 
So let's wait two minutes and then hopefully it'll be warm now. Okay, one thing to note that this microwave looks like it's, it's pulling way more than 600 watts like it advertises. It's pulling uh, almost a thousand watts. So um, just be warned, it may advertise 600 watts, but it may pull more. All right, test time. Oh yeah, it's hot. Let's get that thermometer in. From my fingers, it, it feels just as hot as it did previously, which I, I did a number of days ago, so I don't know how accurate my fingertips are, but uh, we'll see what the thermometer says. So pretty stable at, uh, it hit 133, 131, now it's back at 133. So I'd, I'd say this is a, a success for uh, this pure sine wave inverter. Um, the water's hot and uh, you know the, the battery works, the inverter works, the microwave works. Um, so for those of you that were wondering if you really do need a pure sine wave inverter for things like a microwave, for my test, I'm gonna say yes, you do. I, I used a modified sine wave. It made a lot of noise and it was not warm at all. And uh, I got a pure sine wave, it was quiet, and I have hot water. All right, so that's my test of the cheapest. I'll leave a link for all these things that I bought, even the, the modified sine wave that didn't work. Um, so maybe uh, you're looking into a, a microwave in your RV setup, and maybe you're not, and maybe this will scare you off. But uh, you know, this was, I, I think, around $60, this, I think was 120 or so and the battery um, I think it was around three I uh, 400 when I got it something like that but anyways uh, it, it's not a cheap setup but it works